In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to publish our courses in Articulate Storyline. When you're done building your course, just go up to the Home tab and then click on Publish. And that opens up your publishing window and you'll notice that you have a few options. So you can publish for web, Articulate Online, your learning management system, publish for CD, and then also get Word output. So if we look at Publish for Web, what you'll notice is you can add your title, you can add a course description here, and then you can choose your publish location. Now next to title you'll notice this clickable link and that opens up your project info window. You'll notice you have a title, you have a thumbnail image. By default Storyline pulls in the thumbnail of the first slide. If you want to change that just click on the link and then you can change any one of the slide images or you can insert your own picture. And then down here you have additional information that you can add. Now this information is going to be used mostly by your mobile player. And so if you add the information it will be available through that. Now when you look down here you have some publishing options. By default Storyline publishes for Flash. That will give you your best viewing experience. But you can also publish for HTML5 and for the Articulate Mobile Player for the iOS or Android devices. And then down here you notice that if you publish for your mobile player you can also make the content available for offline viewing. And that's a good option to select as long as you don't have any security issues because if you allow the course to be viewed on a mobile player it's going to depend on the person having access to the network. But by allowing them to download the content they can actually put it on their device and view it without being on the network. I typically publish in all three modes. So this would just be my default publishing option. And then this way anytime I need one of those other modes it's available to me. I don't have to republish the course. Now down here you can set your player properties. So if you want to modify your player you'll see that opens your player properties window. You can make changes. Hit OK. And then you can also customize the quality of the course. If you click on that you'll notice in this one we have some custom quality settings. In most cases the standard publishing is fine. Uh, if you want to change the quality you can change it here. I would recommend that you uh, consider your bandwidth restrictions or requirements. Usually when I first publish a course I want to test it. So I'll publish it at really high quality and I'll publish it at really low quality and see what types of modifications I need to make. So you can always adjust the video quality and the audio and image quality as well. Then when you're ready to publish just hit Publish and then you'll get your Publish Output folder which we'll look at in a few seconds. Now if you go to Articulate Online everything else is going to be the same. The only difference is you choose what you want to track and you also have to insert your Articulate Online account information so that it can be uploaded. For Learning Management System again everything's the same. The only difference is you're going to choose your output options. So in this case we're choosing to track a results slide. I'm going to choose whether I want SCORM, AICC, or Tin Can. And then over here I can click on my reporting and tracking option. So I can input my reporting information and then here I can choose my tracking option. So I can track slides viewed or I can track a quiz result. And as we saw in the quiz tutorial you have a choice of the result slides that you'd like to use. And then when you're ready just go ahead and hit Publish. And then for CD you'll publish and you'll get a folder that you can burn onto CD. And then for Word you can publish and get a Word output of your course. Now let's go back to LMS and we'll publish this and see what we get. When you're done publishing you'll see a folder like this. You can view the project, see what it looks like running through your browser. You can email a zipped file. If you have FTP you can upload it that way. You have your zip option so you can get a zip version of that folder. And then here you can actually open the folder. Let's look at the publish output and see what it looks like. And then you'll get a folder that looks like this and you can see that there are a few options. So you'll have your regular URL link, your HTML5 links, and then you'll notice that there's also links uh, for your LMS and then your SCORE manifest and all of that. And you would just zip that up and upload it to your LMS. If you published it for web you'd have all of the same things minus the LMS information. It's pretty straightforward and the key for you now is to create a course and then publish it and then upload it to either a website or to your learning management system.